Hello, I'm George Clark. No, like you're Max Balligde. No, I want you to see if you can do me. But I will you. do, but no. Hello, I'm George Clark. No, you just be Max Balligde, but me. Hello, I'm Max Balligde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. We did. The Useless, the useless hotline. hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how Weird. silly or embarrassing or stupid <laughs> they are. Close. Um, but it won't always just be us. Sometimes we might have a little little guest, um, uh, somebody to come and do an interview. But not today. Not today. It's just us. It is. So, Max, how have you been? <laughs> um, not really been up to much, to be honest. Good, because I wanted to speak about me. <laughs> I've been... <laughs> uh, how have you been, George? Uh, yeah, I've been good. Not much going on. <laughs> no, I, uh, I've i been ill. I've been a little bit ill. Oh. I don't normally get ill. Oh. Um, what illness specifically? Um, gonorrhea. Oh, of, the, of the throat. The, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't really know what it was. I'm undiagnosed. Oh. Uh, and I like to keep it that way. But you just got all if them. If you're warts, undiagnosed, you? you never had it, and that's a lesson to learn by <laughs> kids at home. Um, yeah, that's really safe. <laughs> um, I yeah, I just was burning up in bed, um, so I said, "Love, you're gonna have to get off." Um, <laughs> I, I was yeah, I was just overheating. I spent most of the day in bed, uh, oh. and then just left to spend six to seven hours building Lego. Oh, that sounds like a really really normal day i mm. went to a toy shop i nice. think i might have told you about this adult or kid a regular uh kid <laughs> what a regular kid <laughs> <laughs> just a regular not an adult kid a regular kid okay and i had no idea how much fun toy shops would still be as an adult i would even argue more so because i was like i can actually afford this stuff like i could actually go mm. do you know what they had that i really 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 want and i think i'm gonna get when i get our house not our house mine and andrew's house <laughs> is them so like, families. No, them oh. like cars that you can actually drive around in. Them oh, like kid cars. Are you sure you went at a car showroom? What? You're, you're not at the Ford garage. <laughs> like a no. real life car you can drive around with. It's got a clutch, <laughs> it's got brakes, it's got everything. No, like them little tiny ones. I used to be so jealous of the kids that would have those because I'd be like, that means you're rich. Like, like a mini Lambo? Yes, I want one. I, I really, Why? really what want you one. Do? Just go around my garden. You would just intro most of your videos going into shot in that. Yes. That, oh, I want it so bad. Like, <laughs> sound like that. Oh, God. Um, but it was so much fun. Literally, the shelves were so high, and I was like, how are there so many toys that exist in the world? There was a full Pokemon section. Nice. I, I, I lost it. I couldn't believe how much like fun I was having in this toy shop. I can believe, as I've been in similar circumstances with you. It was great. It was so good. They had so much Disney stuff. They had everything. Oh, my God. Congrats. I want to go back. I'm going again. Congrats on your fun. Thank Do you. Want more fun? No, I took uh, because you weren't oh, having no, fun. Give you more fun. Because you weren't having fun, I took some of the fun that you should have been having, and I put it all into one big day in a toy uh, shop. Did I? Rem can I remind you of the six to seven hours building Lego? I've got a Lego globe now. Is that what it is? A globe? Yeah. Oh, that's quite shit. Anyway, I would have picked like. I'm, oh. I'm gonna play a game with you. Oh. Okay. Then. There you go. Oh. Oh. There right. you go. Oh. Okay. 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 Right. A. Famous character, celebrity, internet star, whoever you want down. And it's going on your head. We're going to pop them in each other's heads. We're going to ask each other questions so you can figure out who is, who's who. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Um, no, Just make sure you can't, you can't see because it's obviously going to yeah, show yeah. through the back of it when you go to put it on mm -hmm. your head. Um, right. Am I a man? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Right, Am I a man? No. No. Am I a social media person? Uh, yeah. Okay. Am I real? Yes. Okay. You're covering it with your hand, by the way. Make sure the camera can see it so they know. Who, yeah. Um, am I somebody that I know personally? Um, sort of. So I met them? No. Okay. Two questions. Right, boy. okay. Um... <clears throat> Am I a social media person? Yes. Um, am I... Am I cancelled? 
not cancelled, no. Oh my god. Um Am I a YouTuber? Yes. Am I a YouTuber? No. Okay, so I know them, but I've never met them. And they're not cancelled, and they're not a YouTuber. I wouldn't say they're officially cancelled, no. If, if people are still making videos, they're not cancelled, are they? What? Um, am I... Do I know them personally? No. Am I Paul Breach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it just fell off me. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I don't want to be Paul Breach, but, <laughs> but um, I guess that, right. <laughs> um, um, am I a U US yes. YouTuber? Am I a beauty influencer? No. Um, am I cancelled? Yes. Like bad? Yeah. Like a really bad boy. Really bad. So a really bad US YouTuber that's been cancelled. Mm hmm. Um. Am I. <laughs> I'm only thinking of Sam Pepper, but. No. Um. It's a woman. So it's a woman? Yeah, you've asked that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a US YouTuber that's a woman who's been cancelled. Um. Come on, this is so not hard when you when like you'll you will you will kick yourself that you didn't get it right away. Uh, I don't It's so like of the time. Oh, is it Colleen Ballinger? Yeah it is! Oh Taxi Gossip Train. Nice. Oh, we don't want to sing that. Did you know that um well, allegedly, she put that song on Spotify so that she mm -hmm. could copyright claim people that had made videos about it clever yeah but uh, then like it got put on spotify under her name and right. her other songs but then she did a statement saying that she didn't do that but it's like who else did silly girl anyway right next one next one what do i want to do for you now? do you want to keep it on the people train or are we going oh. for what can um, it be an object it, it could be anything i think people okay right oh my god oh my god oh my god right, right. Can, can you see them in the monitor color yeah you can all right good right okay Okay. Am I a man? No. <gasps> oh, it's my question, isn't yeah. it? Um, am I a man? Yeah. Yes. Am I above the age of 30? No. Hmm. Okay. Am I a social media person? No. Okay. Am I a social media person? Yes. Social media person. That doesn't really narrow it down. This narrow the end of the issue. Am I a TV presenter? No. Okay. Am I a YouTuber? No. So I'm not a social media person or a TV presenter. Am I a singer? No. Why did you say that with hesitation? Am I like a recording artist then? No, because I'm in the. I think I know who I am. You know who you are. Mm. Go on then. Did they sing at our podcast <laughs> launch party? Yes. How have you guessed that? <laughs> How have you guessed that so quickly? How is that possible? <laughs> Didn't even ask any questions. What? How did you guess that? She's clever, aren't I? What the fuck? You have to get it in this guess, otherwise I've beaten you. I have to get it in this guess? Yeah. Right, so they're not a social media person and they're not a singer. Oh, I, I, I'm just going to keep beating around the bush until you seem like you're close. Okay, then. <laughs> Done that before. Um, but you could take yours off. You've already guessed it. I haven't guessed who it is yet. Oh, okay, then. Um, am I... So I'm not a social media person. No. Am I famous for reality television? No. Oh, I don't know it. Ooh... Um, would you follow my hair and beauty tutorials? Yeah. <laughs> I would. Okay. Have I... Well, I have I done that. something controversial? Yes. Oh, God. 
Um, I don't know. Um, have am I known for my talents? Yeah. Known for definitely pushing them out there. I don't know if people like it, but it's definitely persistent. <laughs> <laughs> Um, am I a political figure? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat? Yeah. What do you mean somewhat a political figure? You could. You could. Yeah. Oh, I know who I am. I know who I am. Am I Alphabet Orion Doherty? <laughs> yes, you are. Am I Prince Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Right, we'll do one more of these. Okay. Right, okay. Me first. Am I a man? Yeah. Okay. Am I a man? No. Am I a social media person? Yeah. Okay. Um, am I a social media person? Yes. Ooh. So I'm a man who's a social media person. Am I... <laughs> am I controversial? Uh, some of your actions, I would say, are quite controversial. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, am I, am, am I a TikToker? No, not originally. Oh, has TikTok, but not a TikToker. Okay. Um, am I a YouTuber? No. No. Okay. Well, did I become famous because of social media? Yes. Okay. Um, did I become famous because of social media? Uh yeah, I'd say so. Okay. <laughs> did, did, mm-hmm. did, um, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. Um, you didn't actually. I didn't actually ask that question. So thanks for that extra oh, information. Sure. Um, Mean. a female tuber. Am I UK based? No. <sighs> Am I UK based? Yeah. Oh. US based female tuber who does no who does TikTok now but started on tubes. Um, um Am I blonde? Yes. Am I Am I Joe Bags? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um <laughs> Did I used to date Jake Paul? No. Okay. Am I single? Um. <laughs> I, um. I think if if they if you had a choice, yeah. But if no, they had not. a choice, but you're not. Um, so they're in a relationship, but they don't want to be in that relationship. I they, think so. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Oh. So I'm a female YouTuber turned TikToker. Um, Do I have a spicy link in my bio? Yes. Um, Oh, I think I know who it is. Right, keep that to yourself. Have I cheated on my person I'm in a relationship with then? Um, I don't think it's public knowledge. But you know that they've cheated on them. I think... I don't know. I don't think I'm not going to throw him under. I don't know if we can leave that in. No, I'm not going to throw him under the bus. But I, I don't think it's public knowledge. Oh my god, what? Okay then, <laughs> you're not going to throw him under the bus. But you just said on a podcast that they've cheated on their girlfriend or boyfriend. No, we, we can't. He'll, it'll, it'll be fine. What is going on? Okay, right. Okay. Um, right. Okay. <clears throat> what is going on? Am I? Known for making some weird YouTube videos. Yes. Yeah, I think I know who I've got. I have no idea who I am. Have I got dark hair? Yeah. Okay. Um, does my name rhyme with Fisher Slate Ass? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're not just going to say you got it. <laughs> um, so I am a boy 
who's you know has cheated on his partner, who is on social media and has dark hair and is controversial. I'm so confused. More well, just just from like my my knowledge anyway. So you know that they've cheated on their partner, but everybody else, well, everyone knows now. I'm so confused. It's not like fucking Casper Lee, is it? I hope he's not cheated on Amber. Not <laughs> They've Casper. just got engaged. It's not Casper, no. It's um, not Joe, God it, forbid. It's mine, Trisha Paytas. Yes, it is. Okay, so now it's just you to quick fire some... Right, please tell me I'm not Joe Soak and you're not no. telling me that he's cheated on Diane because I will cry. Okay. No. Um, who, was, who do we think has cheated on their partner? I'm so confused. Um, Just ask them more questions if they Right, choose. okay then. Um, am I young, as in like under 30? Yeah. Am I like, am I over 18? I hope so. Why is everyone laughing? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> um, do I have any like talents? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> See, I feel like you're describing me, but you can't be describing me because I don't have dark hair. You don't class my hair as dark, do you? No. So it's not me. No. Oh my god. So I have no talent. I cheat on my partner. Am I? Am I gay? Uh, yeah. So I cheat on my boyfriend. Yeah. I have no talent. What the fuck? I'm so baffled right now. <laughs> is it something stupid like Harry Potter? No. Is it a? Am I a fictional person? Um, no. I'm a real person. Yeah. Oh, I might have to give up. No, I, I'm so keep, lost. Keep, keep, keep but how asking. can I keep going? Keep asking. I'm so baffled though. Right, I'll have two more guesses. No, just keep asking questions. Look good. I can't think of any more questions. We haven't even asked what type of videos they make. What like what, what type of videos do they make? Well, that's not a yes or no question. And also, I'm asking. Do you they that. make TikToks? Yeah. Do they make um, like what I eat in a day? Yeah, sometimes. Yes. Do they? Do I know them personally? I think you know them quite well. Yeah. Quite well. I know. I'm trying to think of people that I know. Joe. Joe isn't even in a relationship. George Bags is not in a relationship. I'm really puzzled. Is it you? No. Oh, you're not in a relationship. <laughs> so I'm not gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? I have absolutely no idea. Just keep asking questions. Um, videos that I make. Do I make comedic videos? Uh, attempts. Attempts. So you don't think that? The, uh, well, that was that was shade. Um. Oh my god. I am literally like, have I met this person a lot? Like, I'm I'm familiar with them. Yeah, you'd know them if you saw them. I'd know them if I saw them. <laughs> you're, you're have I got with this person? Have they cheated on their boyfriend with me? I think I think I think you have got with them. Yeah. You think I've got with them? I'm pretty sure I've seen you get with them. There is nobody that I've got with that you would... I've been with Andrew for for two and a half years and I knew you... I've known you for like a year and a half. I'm so baffled right now who this could be. I don't understand. What the actual fuck is going on? Why is everybody not telling me? Oh my God. Right, one more guess then I'm giving up. No, you're close. I reckon you're close. What the fuck? I don't know who it can possibly be. I have got with them. Yeah. George, I don't, I've not got with anybody. I hope Andrew's not watching. Andrew, I've not got with anybody if you're watching. <laughs> I am so baffled by this. <laughs> I don't care why you're all laughing. This so might much. be the best this clip ever. Be best clip. What is happening? Is I don't to, understand. Is, is it so best? much stupid like my dad or something? Uh, no, it's not your oh. dad. You might call them that, but I don't think that is. I might call them dad. Is it your dad? <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, guys, I might have to give up. I'm not no, even joking. No, 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 no. But I'm not going to get this. Like, just, it just literally think about is a made-up person. So it's it's a gay man yeah. with dark hair who makes TikToks. You said is talentless. Um, you've got with them. 
you might call them dad. Um, Why would I call someone dad? You know them quite well. I'm so lost here. Like, this just doesn't make any sense. They, they this is not a make person. They what I eat in a day TikToks. What I eat in a day. Can you give me clues? Because um, I can't think of any more questions. They make... Yeah. Callum seen me get with them as well. <laughs> is this all, someone on, under our management? I've not yeah. got with anybody. No, they are, they're under our management, yeah. You've not got with anyone under your management? Oh, they're, they're in our management? Yeah. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? I, You're all just lying. What is happening? Just, just go through people on our management. Is it a girl? No. What is going on? Is it Callum? No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. Right. I might have to give up. I'm not even... Just joking. go through people on our management. Yeah, literally. Joe, Casper, Maddie, no, Kyron. No, no, no. Kyron? No. Me, you. No, no. Is it a manager? <laughs> no. Oh my god, I am lost. I am just so lost. <laughs> I can't believe you've missed this person out. What the hell are you talking no, about? Now, you, now you're just. Now you're, you're being. Clues, you're, you're just not thinking right. Now you're right. just being rude. Do I need to switch up my way of thinking or yeah. something? I'm being rude. Mm. What the fuck? Who's who's at our management that's gay with dark hair that you've got with that you might want to call dad? Is it Andrew? Is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're going what? But I've only got with Andrew. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, I haven't got with anyone under my manager. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anyone. That, that, you literally said the reason why it's Andrew. Oh. I haven't got with anyone since being with Andrew. Oh my god! Oh, that was brilliant. That was so funny. Of course, it was fucking Andrew. Why didn't I think? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Is he talentless? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what was that all about? <laughs> Just funny for a clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right, <laughs> that was brilliant. I just right. did not get that one bit. Do you want to get to our jobs? Yeah, let's go to our <laughs> jobs, George. That was too much. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Right, I clearly am not good at solving my own dilemmas, so I don't know how I'm going to help people with theirs. <laughs> Can let's I just say? See. I think that might be our best clip that we're ever going to have. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. I knew as soon as I wrote it down <laughs> that you were never going to get it. And that's hilarious because it's li your literal boyfriend. You're getting a house with him. I just wasn't thinking about him. I don't know why. I was just like, it wouldn't be him. That is just wild. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. I've just had an email come through. <laughs> oh. Oh. You were looking at the camera going, Andrew, if you're watching, I haven't got with you. <laughs> just with, just with Andrew. Andrew, his boyfriend, pointing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so funny. <laughs> that is awful. Right, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Ugh. Hi, Max and George. Okay, strap in. Here we go. Strap on. I live in London and matched with a boy on Tinder when I was on holiday in Tenerife last year. He lives there, so we're now in a long distance relationship, which is fine because Tenerife is only four hours away. The dilemma is, I applied for a job in LA the month after I met him, as I've always dreamt of going slash living there. I didn't expect to fall in love with each other. We didn't... That doesn't make sense. I didn't expect us to fall in love with each other. And now I've been offered a job and I'm meant to be moving soon. Screams. Ah! So now we have to navigate long distance and an eight hour time difference. I plan to go for about two years. But the thought of being that far away from him makes me so sad. What do I do? He can't move with me. Blah, 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 blah. I think you break up with each other. My initial thought was... <laughs> Four hours away is still very long. Plus plane journey, so you've got the two hours before Queuing the either thing. End. You've that's got the getting still, to the airport. That's a day. That's like yeah, that's. And they were like, oh, that's not that much. 
Yeah, that's a lot. When I like used that's, to live, that's mental. To, I don't. I'm. What's the longest distance relationship you think you could manage? Well, I did have a long distance relationship. So I, when I was at uni in Bristol, where your hometown, big up B town. Um, I met my second boyfriend. Nice. And he was like five years older than me. Ooh, I think. older than you is better than Yeah, he was <laughs> five, five years, years old. old. <laughs> and um, he moved to London as I was moving to Newcastle because I decided I didn't like being at Bristol Uni and I wanted to go to Newcastle. Mm. And um, in that summer between uni years, he moved to London. So I would visit him a lot in London. And then we ended up falling for each other. He told me... Um, can't remember where we were. I was very drunk. And he was like, I think I'm falling in love with you. And I was like, ew, who isn't? I'm a, Gay, I'm a great catch. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then we ended up like fully getting together and like being in a relationship before summer um, yeah. finished. So then I went to Newcastle. He was in London on a train. That is a minimum four hour journey on a train. Mm. And because I was a poor uni student, all that I could afford was the coach every week, George, on like a Thursday night at 2 a.m., I would queue in the freezing cold at Newcastle Coach Station, get on a coach for seven hours Ugh. to arrive in London the next morning at like, like seven, like 8 p.m., 8 a.m. ish. That, go what's, straight what's to the his time difference like then if you got on the coach at 2 a.m. and arrived there at right, 7 well, my maths was a seven not hour journey? <laughs> my maths was not that good. Um, <laughs> and whatever time it was. And... Um, and then I'd stay there for like two or three days and then I'd get the coach back. And it was hell, but I put I, myself I'd through it. it. I put myself through it because I was in love and the coaches were like two pounds because it was mega bus. Mm. Vile. Oh, George. Horrible oh, no, I, Do you not remember? I always used to travel to London on a mega bus. Everyone always oh, used, to be like, used to be like, oh, George, why are you getting a mega bus? Mm. Just get a train. I'm like... So cheap. I wasn't actually learn earning any money from TikTok at that point. Oh, bless. Bless him. <laughs> <laughs> really that time's changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just wasn't work. One of you always ends up putting more effort in because like, it's very difficult yeah, I feel like to it just- become, It's hard to share it out like there. It became the norm that you were going. I went every single, he came to visit yeah. me once. I went like every single weekend for three months and it was hell. I ended up mm. not getting to spend time with my friends. Like it was, I was yeah, so dumb also, for doing it. It will add so much stress, not only on your normal life, but mm. also on the relationship being like constant, like when are you next free? We need to have this amount yes. of time to be able to see each other. Did you say mouth time? This amount of time. Oh, right. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> damn bad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to do, I mean, even like the idea of someone living like an hour and a half away, I'm like, that's like quite, that's quite, it is a lot. That's a decent distance. Yeah, it is a lot. And um, I think as I get older, I'm just like, I need someone that, like even when I met Andrew, so we knew that we had like fallen in love with each other, so head over Andrew? heels. Um, <laughs> I did not remember his name previously, <laughs> but we are in love. <laughs> and um, when we met, I was still going back to Newcastle to finish my degree. Mm. So I remember thinking at the beginning, like, is there even any point in pursuing this? Because... I'm gonna be heartbroken in the end because I'm gonna end up like not being able to see him very often. But then I started to pick up with social media very quickly after we first met. And I was like, I'll be able to afford a train down if I need to, because I'm now hashtag um, train worthy. I remember literally hashtag when I would get- train worthy? Yeah, I don't know what Is that, that what was. he called you? Oh, funny story. Um, oh God, I hope not in that sort of- No, no, no. Oh God. RuPaul, who does RuPaul's Drag Race, the drag queen, you know. I, I understood that RuPaul, yeah. Yes. Um, has obviously a show of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. And for years, I don't know if it was RuPaul directly or like producers something, would not let trans people compete on the show. Why? Which seems very counterproductive because the show is all about like equality and raising awareness of like LGBT people. Very well, weird. I, I don't understand. The, so RuPaul the... basically said that he wanted his show to be men that dress up as women as an art form, not because they think they are a woman. Like, because a drag queen is not... The drag queen who you sat next to, they're not trying to be a woman in that moment. Like, look like a... a, a be a trans... They, they don't see themselves, I don't think, anyway, as, like, a trans woman in their daily life. Mm. They dress up like that to perform, to, like, do their job. It's like putting on their outfit to do their job. So RuPaul wanted his show to be about that because that's what he is. He was a man. Well, so drag queens don't want you to view them as women. They want you to... Not necessarily, no. It's more like um, an art form. Or, like, I guess some of them dress up pretty much like 
like women like like yeah. really go for that feminine thing like blue is very blue feminine. is very feminine yeah. um and i think even she said there that like she will use like any pronouns because she just sees herself as like what I mean, whatever you, anything in between just, because i mean you call them all she yeah or they yeah. or whatever but um so rupaul basically put a ban on i don't know if it was rupaul um himself on like when you apply that you can't have undergone like hormone um replacement or like any surgeries That's or something weird such thing, bullshit like also if it, if it it's just like an, if it's like an art form anybody can do it a woman dressing as a drag queen has just yeah. amount as literally chance of being good at it is exactly as. exactly george um so this went on for years and then rupaul basically for years would get hate like why are you so actively i just realized that we're how has this got anything to do with you and Andrew? Because you said trains and it made me think of something. So for years, RuPaul got loads of backlash and then eventually decided to change it and allow trans people to go on the show. Mm. And um, in the tweet, like saying this was like, I don't want to misconstrue anything. Like um, I've always supported trans people, like whatever, whatever the text was. And then put a picture of, you could tell that RuPaul had written into Google images, trans pride flag but accidentally wrote trains pride flag <laughs> and literally this random green flag that is the pride flag for people who love trains is <laughs> included That's and funny. i just think that is so funny like imagine like you've had backlash for so many years you finally do a statement on it and you're like do you know what i've changed i like this now and you pick why the trains there, why is there a pride flag for train well, i have no idea shag trains i don't or know really like I think trains? Just, they just really like her what if you hate trains? I think I don't know if there's like a trains. So if you're a trains phobe enemy. and everyone's like, trains what? Phobe. You're a what? <laughs> I'm trains phobe. I just don't like trains. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, either way, love, break up because that is a very lo- unless I you mean, like. If it works. I've you. I do remember back in the day on Facebook when you used to see all these things like, I met Dylan five years ago on Omegle and mm. we've not we've never met yeah. since. We've been dating Catfish now for two like. years. And today is going to be the first day that I see him. Mm. What's going on, guys? It's me, Dylan. <laughs> I'm waiting for Chanel. We've we've met online years ago. She's an African actually... grey. But then... <laughs> <laughs> and then they do the whole running at the airport. They jump in each other's arms. And I imagine uh, after one night of sexual intercourse, they go, do you know what? This is not going to work, weird. is it? Yeah. Me and Andrew were kind <clears> of <throat> pen pals for a while. But only because and of now the... you're peen pals. <laughs> hey, only because of the lockdown restrictions, though, yeah. and we obeyed the law. Right, anyway, next, next one. Voice I can hear the voice. Ears. Oh. I can hear voice in my ears. That was very delicate. <laughs> Hi, Max and George. Hello. Recently, I was at my nan's funeral, ask. and there was a bit of a scrap. So it was at the after party, and we noticed this man standing there, who no one knew. And so my granddad goes to have a word with him. He goes, who are you? And the guy, I'm actually not joking, he went, I'm the boyfriend of the woman who's died. So he was saying that he was my nan's boyfriend. And my granddad's obviously like, what? Everyone's like, what? Because everyone's gone silent now. Everyone's looking at him. And he just goes, yeah, I met her 10 years ago. And they've been dating for eight years. So that means my nan was cheating with a random man (laughs) for eight years. And he's just shown up to a funeral and it turned into a, like a massive scrap. Like a. Wow. I mean, first of all, love oh. the fact that you referred to the wake as an after party. <laughs> that is brilliant. It's for you, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> um, and second What'd of all. What do you do? I mean, surely the, the, the boyfriend knew that she had a husband. Maybe, but maybe not. Because if you think about it, it would well, be it, easy for us to going, find information. Are we going to move in together at some point? And she said, no, I can't be asked. Well, there's no spaces at my nursing home. <laughs> yeah. But also think about it. When you're older, nowadays, we can so easily track somebody's every move. There's going to be a social footprint of something on That's the internet. That's creepy, Max. Whereas, uh, shut up. Whereas, like, older people... You would just go off what they say. Yeah. If I if my grandma said to me, like she's just been down at the park on the swings and the slide, I would not assume that she was robbing Greg's, because I would have no way to. She wouldn't have put any Instagram stories up. Oh, okay, right. Was that a weird analogy? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another analogy, like if your grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. She would have been a bike. Yeah. But she's not. She's just a bitch. 
I actually love my grandma very much. And she's not a bit. Well, it turns out this voice noter's grandmother, if she had wheels, she would have been a bike. She's because a the bitch. whole town would have riding on her. <laughs> <laughs> slag. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I don't really have How is advice. your grand slag? <laughs> um, oh sorry. Oh. There's a grand slam um, at her house every night. I mean, do you know what? Yunnan had her own reasons for having two men on the go at once. <laughs> do you know what? Yunnan. <laughs> Um, and I support your nan. I think that she obviously wasn't getting it in enough from grandpa. I feel for, I feel for for granddad though. Yeah, that's a bit bit of a wounded situation. Because there's um, there's no like, oh, I'm gonna go on the rebound now. Yeah, no. I mm. might not work. Do you know how awful that apparently when you get really older, your testicles can get so droopy that they can fall into the toilet when you sit on it. I don't think they ever get that droopy. They do. I think if you're in America I've where the water it. level's high. I've seen it. What? How? When we, When have you seen that? No comment. What, you've got pendulous testes? Is that what you're trying to say? No comment. That wasn't... Do you want what? me to explain what pendulous testes means? I've, I've sat the pendulous test in high school. I don't know. I got full marks. Jesus Christ. Right, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, we're sorry about your gran, <laughs> but she sounds like she was having a lovely time. Yeah. So she died as she lived. Yeah. Being surrounded a complete by whore. men. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, Her nan was actually in the Navy, um, and she died full of semen. <laughs> I've got an email that's come through. I've got a boner. <laughs> Thanks, Last one of the day. Hi, Max and George. Hi. I thought I'd send this in as I saw that George's <laughs> food got dropped in Greg's. And I want to remind you that this could be worse. Oh. I work at Greg's, and this story is quite possibly the worst thing anyone has ever told me. Oh, my God. My co worker worked at another Greg's previously to the one we work in now, and she was the only girl in the team at that shop. Girl power. Yeah. She was at the front serving customers when she suddenly realized that all of her male co workers had disappeared. Oh. Not in terms of like Thanos. Just ah. she realised that they weren't there. Right, okay. It wasn't a sudden. Ah! Yeah. Um, I got scared. She ventured out back, confused and dis- she ventured out back, confused and discovered her colleagues crowding around, doing what can only be described as sticking their dicks into the warm steak bakes. No. I have so many questions. Why the fuck do they do this? Being the main one, but just wanted to send this in to remind George that it could be worse. Stay humble. Also, Max, you're a proper fitty with love, Gregalicious Gertrude. That's I, not where you put your willy, is it? I love Greg so much. And um, Don't put a willy in a steak bake. I'm so upset right No matter now. how warm, piping hot would surely scold. That's a third degree. That's a third third degree. degree burns on the shaft is not where you want them. Third degree boner burn. Oh, I'm so upset by this information. I'm, I'm, do you know what? what? Why do men... I mean, I know I'm man. <laughs> Why do we have to just stick our, stick our winkies in anything that'll have us? What's going on with that? I prefer my steak bakes boneless. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. It's the a... thought of someone... The, surely the, the pastry crust would crumble. Pastry crust? <laughs> why did you, why'd you go Jamaican when I you're upset? I'm so upset. Oh man, surely the pastry crust would go all soggy. <laughs> Oh, horrible bastards. Oh, I pray that me this don't is like not true. It. <laughs> I pray this is not true and I'm mortified and Would um, take yeah. all of the morals out of it. Okay. You've got a steak bake of perfect c- temperature in front of you. Would, would I put my dick in Would it? you give it a go? Are you joking? No. I've I've Yo, never I reckon you would. I've never been one of those people that's like I want to like put my winky in a watermelon. Nobody can. Nobody. <laughs> nobody accused you of that, Max. Why is that suddenly? I'm just putting it out. On Would you record. put your dick in a steak bake? I've never put my dick in a watermelon. <laughs> I, I've never done that. <laughs> Not a watermelon or a grapefruit. <laughs> oh. Isn't it American Pie where he puts it in a pie? Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Yeah. See, I wouldn't do that Freshly either. Freshly baked apple pie. Mmm. Bowl of porridge, however. Oh, not a sloppy podger. Is that what they call it? Never oh put your penis in a sloppy podger. I can't imagine something like that feeling good. I mean, a steak bake would be better than sloppy podger. Would it? Rank foods. What are your... Okay. 
top three foods that you would put your willy in. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, top three. Muller rice. Muller rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, a little bit of rice pudding around the. No. Oh, I don't want to play this game. No, of course there's there's got to be three that would be like. There, I don't think there's any. I don't want to. Donut. Put it in. Donut. No, you just rip it. I would anyway. I'm too girthy. Party ring? <laughs> Party ring. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. What would be an, an eclair? Haribo ring. An, an eclair. But think of all the cold cream inside. Like, why Ooh. Do we want... It'll be warm once I'm done with it. Oh, I hate this game. I don't like this game. I want it to end. What? A grapefruit? Grapefruit. You know, have you ever seen that woman that says, yes. how to grapefruit your man? Yes. What's she called? Oh, my God. I can't Gra remember her name. Grapefruit God. She's really famous. Um, um, but yeah, just the. I prefer. I prefer. What's, I prefer. Oh, <laughs> what's the, <laughs> it's the? It's that type of pastry that eclairs are made of. Shoe pastry. Yeah, shoe pastry. Look. What about shoe? Shoe away, you actually. This is disgusting no, conversation. I want nothing I'm, to do with that, it. I I reckon you've got one in your mind that you're like that would that is that's the one. Cadbury's cream egg. Mm. I'd fill it up. That's not exactly a. <laughs> that's not exactly a No, I didn't mean it boast, in a semen way it? either. I meant it as in like a tiny cock way. I was joking. <laughs> I hate this conversation. I want it all to end. I'm really <laughs> not enjoying myself. <laughs> Tuna Cardo from Joe and oh, the Juice. <laughs> Not with the chili flakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate it. Right, let's leave that there. I'm upset. Um, yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Mac Ooh. and cheese. Oh, mashed potato. Mm. Sorry, I did my best impression of a phone that's on vibrate then. Oh. Mm. Right, I'm giving up. I want this to end. Um... I have to go to my sister's wedding, where there'll be no mac and cheese in sight. Unless have there a look is. around the buffet and see what see what's on I'll offer. I'll take a picture for you. Shag you... the charcuterie board. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, some salami. Oh, what right. about a breadstick. If you enjoyed this episode, which I can't understand why you would have, but please, would let you us stick know a breadstick up your ass? Absolutely. Um, then please drop <laughs> us five. <laughs> if you pop a breadstick up your ass and get someone to it, karate chop it. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm so into that. <laughs> so into that. <laughs> um, drop us a five star like and follow and subscribe notification if bell. If you enjoyed this episode, <laughs> make sure to like if you're watching, subscribe, or ring those notification bells so you are notified every time we upload. If you're listening, a little five star review would not go amiss. Uh, download us so you can listen to us on the go. And just tune in every week because they're better and better every week, I swear to God. But Max, how do they do a dilemma? Um, if you would like to do a dilemma, what? if you would like to write in a dilemma to us, please write one in to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com and please send an audio voice note to the useless hotline pod on Instagram. And if you made it this far into the episode, please say, can't believe George put a whole uh, can't believe George put a whole baguette of bread up his ass live on camera. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. And until next time, remember your boyfriend's name.